In this video, we are going to see how we can create a MCB manual call point family using Autodox Revit. This is uh, used in fire alarm system in building and uh, size of the MCB is generally 90 by 90 by 40 mm. So let's see how we can create this family. So I'm just closing this one and creating new. For creating a new family, we have to choose a template and from here new and we are selecting here metric generic model template open now our project browser and properties browser is turned off so we have to turn on this so go to view and here user interface project browser and from the same place just turn on properties browser we will need this so we will create 90 by 90 by 40 mm MCP manual call point so so we will need some reference plane for that in reference level for plan we need a 90 by 40 mm uh, rectangle so just create few reference plane to create that rectangle to create reference plane uh, shortcut is RP and draw one again RP and draw one now just give dimension to give dimension di and click equal here now again give dimension here we have to check the unit also because we are going to use 90 by 90 by 40 mm so to set the unit shortcut is un here length is mm so we are going right ok now now click this reference plane and edit the dimension that is 45 and change the scale here that is 1 ok now again draw a reference plane rp here and dimension of this will be 40 mm so just give dimension and edit this 40 mm we have to draw some reference plane in our front view also so just go to the front view and here draw reference plane rp here just give dimension change the scale to 1 and just dimension that is uh, 90 So you can go to the reference plane and and here create an extrusion choosing rectangle and here let's see once what we are going to create actually you are going to create this part this upper part so just go to Revit so I am removing this line and creating a line of suppose 25 mm here and this is 5 mm and 30 p now this is 25 mm and here I trim this ok let's do some fillet here and here so for that just draw an arc and trim this no need to do the same thing here also we can mirror this just select this and mirror and trim it finish and just go to window styles view wt see here that is created but this is too long because we have not set the height we can set the height from here so just align with this reference plane now 
now change this visual style to realistic see see this is not looking good we have to uh, change the color of this uh, material so just select the extrusion and go to category material here and we are going to create some material here just select this default and duplicate this material I'm writing here red and changing this color okay apply okay see mm, not this red so change the color again just click here and I'm choosing this one okay apply okay okay so we are going with this color and we also need some fillet here this portion also so go to again in the reference plan view and select the extrusion edit extrusion and here just draw an arc and trim the remaining part mirror this opposite part again trim okay now again wt okay now this is looking good next we are going to create this middle portion this middle cut here so let's see how we can do this see we have to go to our right elevation so just click on right here and go to right elevation here we will create this extrude cut same we will need some reference plane here also to create reference plane same process that is rp or you can copy this reference plane so i am just copying this reference plane select this reference plane cc and here 20 again copy and here uh, we need a middle one that is 45 we need some vertical reference plane also again cc 10 10 now we will create a void extrusion filleting the corners the stream mirror again mirror this was not selected so you can select and mirror now apply go to tiles view and see what's happening actually our void extrusion is going outside so so we have to make it correct so let's just close this left screen here Go to reference plane and drag this to here and just give a thickness here. Let's see what happened. Actually, nothing is visible. We have to drag this to outer portion. Now the card is visible. Now to make inner portion white we have to create a material there so again go to right elevation view here and create a extrusion this time we are not going to draw lines manually we can use this method here uh, pick lines we will use pick lines towards here and just click this 
and finish. Again, go to window styles view. See, again, this is going outside, so we have to change this, edit this properly. and we have to change the color also so just select that part and go to material again create a new material duplicate this and just select white here apply ok so this is as per now now we have to create those symbols here so again we will work on right elevation just go to right elevation and create the symbol there just create an extrusion just circle and here we are creating the arrow Now delete and trims remaining parts. Delete, delete, and mirror this one. Just finish this, and again go to window styles view and adjust this. symbol has been created and final thing we will do this uh, joining portion we will create this joining portion so this is also easy just go to David and again we will go to the right elevation see I'll create extrusion here declines 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 move these lines by 1 mm again by 1 mm moving all the lines by 1 mm and we are going to trim the corners if those are not joined so here it's not joined now just finish it and go to window styles view see again we have to adjust this extrusion so we are placing it here middle now this is done so let's see how it's looking now See this is looking so nice, we can use this family in fire alarm security system in building in Autodex Revit. So if this video is helpful to you, please like this video, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.